Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an outro so you can like advertise your other videos on your channel. And uh, it's pretty cool. You guys have probably seen it on my uh, my other channel, Game Vids, and uh, I use it a lot now because it, you know, at the end of the video, you're like, hey, I wonder, you know, it just shows you that I have another video. You can check it out and all that good stuff. So first, what you want to do is open up Photoshop. We're going to be using Photoshop and Sony Vegas. Uh, it it'll work in probably any other editing. Uh, software that you use, but most people use Sony Vegas, so I'll just show you in that. You want to go to File, New, and then you want to go to uh, the Preset Film and Video, and then change the size to HDV, HDV TV 720-29.97. It's going to be used 7, uh, 1280 by 720. Hit OK. Now I'm going to show you a really basic one on how to do this. Um, you guys can use your your creativity, or you can get online and get pictures, but all you have to, and then uh, make your own your own uh, picture. But all you have to do is go to the paint tool, fill it in, choose whatever background you want. Uh, again, if you want a picture, do that. I'm just going to make this real quick. There we go. That's going to be my background. Then just make a new layer to fill it in with black like that. And then hit Control T and that's going to select it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to size it down. So up here to the width, change it from 100% to um, we'll do 63 and then we'll change the height from 100% to 63 as well. That way it's a perfect position. Uh, that way it's still widescreen and all that. And uh, that's all we got to do for there. Now uh, back on your background, we'll turn that off. Back on your background, you want to double click and hit bevel and emboss. Now you don't have to do this, but it adds a cool texture to it when you delete it. Uh, then turn back on the thing and as you can see, this is what it's going to look like. And then your video is going to be inside here. But to make it look like it's actually like a picture frame frame kind of thing we're gonna hold down control and click the actual black uh, and as you can see it selects it then we're gonna make sure that we're still on our background and then hit delete and then uh, what that does is uh, it deletes it out and since we did the bevel and emboss it uh, makes it kind of like kind of like 3d ish at the ends uh, and if we turn off the bevel and emboss then it's just a hole so it's whatever you want but I think the bevel and emboss makes it look better and there we go, so that's what we got. Now, you just want to save it. Make sure you save it as a PNG and just make it outro, pick, whatever. And then make sure the interlace is none. Now we're going to open up Sony Vegas. Drag that in right here. And then you want to drag it on. Now, as you can see, there's black in it. So what you want to do is get a picture or a video or something like that. Um, let's go to Peer get a nice picture here this fine I made this before uh, and you want to make sure that it's under now as you can see it cuts it out so what you want to do is come over here and I'll zoom it up a little bit uh, go to event pan crop right here and then what you want to do is zoom it out by uh, scrolling with your mouse and then a uh, good thing is um, I think it's well we'll just figure all you have to do is drag it out and then until it's lined up and as you can see, zoom it out the whole way and then go back in a little bit till right, right there. So uh, 2013, 2012, we'll do 2012. That looks good. And as you can see, uh, you know, you can zoom it out. Maybe that looks good. 20, 36. It's so whatever. You can uh, choose whatever you want. I'm going to go one more. There we go. Just to get rid of all the black. Oops. Oops. Eh. There we go. 2020, oops, 2020 might be good. You know, you can just adjust it how you want. Uh, if it's not working right, then make sure these two are clicked. Because if you unclick them, then you'll be moving uh, not together, not uh, not all together, and it it'll just make it like really weird. So just make sure those two things are clicked, and then just drag it out. And there, as you can see, you have the video. Um, now also make sure it's above it. That way, the video is behind. In case you mess something up, it's still gonna look like it's behind it. And uh, if we turn this layer off, as you can see, what the, that's what the video looks like. And that's oops, and that's that's what it looks like. And yeah, so it's really simple. Uh, you can do this with other. You can add pictures. Uh, you can make a different background, whatever you want. Uh, do the bevel and boss. It makes it look cool. And then uh, you also could get like avatar, uh, not avatars, like renders of your your favorite uh, game, like Call of Duty. I have one where I put a Call of Duty guy here and I make it overlap. Just make sure you save it as a PNG, put the video inside, and also I forgot to show you, um, when you make it, oops, oops, there. When you make it, whatever you make it, you can s then save it. So uh, type in 2020 again, and then you can come up here and save it to whatever si uh, 
whatever you wanted to say, and then make sure you hit it, and then all you have to do is uh, just keep using that. And uh, as you can see, this one's a little off. But uh, just save it, and then you can just each time you can just go up here and then drag it through from default the whole way down to right there. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below, and I'll talk to you guys later.